I literally just fucking woke up. I literally just woke up. I'm like, did I miss the jaw? Did I miss the jaw? And I checked. I did miss the jaw. But the results are in, guys. The results are in. Man City versus Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, my God. I think the draw was kind to us. Guys, if you see sleep in my eyes, I just woke up. I'm telling you, literally just woke up. Man City versus Tottenham. This is a team that we could beat. You know, not underestimating Tottenham though, because they have a very good team. You know, you have Harry Kane, Christian Eriksen, Deli Ali. These guys could pop up on any day and, and just shock you. The defense is good. You know, Alderweireld, Vertonghen, Davinci Sanchez, you know, Aurier. I'm not going to mention Musa Sissoko though. But, you know, you have Lloris, a World Cup winning goal. Maritza Pochettino, one of the best coaches in the world. Spurs is a, is a damn good team, you know. Didn't even sign a single player this season. And they're competing, you know, for a top four spot in the Premier League. So, they're definitely a force to be reckoned with as well. But we have been getting the better of Spurs, though. We play them pretty soon. We play them soon again. So, it will be three matches versus Spurs, you know, coming up in the next couple of weeks. We have never played Spurs in, you know, UEFA Champions League. And this will be the first time we meet in them in European competition, you know. I'm actually reading it right here. So, guys, don't, you know, debate that. That's a very, very, I think that's a kind draw for us, you know. That's a kind draw for us and not so much a kind draw for Spurs, but they do have a chance. They do have a chance. Early predictions, Man City, of course. Man City, of course. Man City. But on our side of the bracket, guys, we have Ajax versus Juventus. And why I say the other, this, the, 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 not the other side of the bracket, our side of the bracket. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because the format has changed up. So, the winner of Ajax versus Juventus, we will face the winner of Ajax versus Juventus. And then we will meet the teams from the other side of the bracket in the final. So, Ajax versus Juventus. It's a repeat of the 1996 Champions League final, which Juventus won. I think that's the last time they won the Champions League. And I think the season before that, Ajax had won it. So, Ajax, man, this is a team who knocked out the holders Real Madrid convincingly. I'm talking about convincingly. 1-4, on the road. You know, people say, Johan Cruyff's number, symbolic. This is Ajax's season. And they could do something special. But, 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 but. What Juventus has done probably eclipses what Ajax has done to Real Madrid because to score three goals on Atletico Madrid, I know Dortmund scored four against them, but still, that was an, an anomaly in itself. And Ronaldo, a hat-trick versus Atletico Madrid. How many players can say they have Hatchicks versus a modern-day Atletico Madrid. Not many. Not many at all. And what he did was magnificent. You know, living legend. One of the greatest players of all time. Ajax, you know, you have a mountain to climb. I know you can climb the mountain. I'm not going to underestimate Ajax again. Ajax can definitely defeat Juventus. But, guys, let's all be realistic here. Let's all get off the drug and come down. Let's be realistic. This is Juventus' tie. To lose. Their favorites. If they lose it, they have to blame themselves. Ajax, they have a chance. But Juventus are the favorites. Going to be completely honest. I'm going to go with Juventus here. So it will be a Man City Juventus semi-final if my prediction, you know, is right. Could also be a Spurs Ajax, and we will see one of those teams in the finals. But right now, it's shaping up to be a Man City versus Juventus semi-final. The winner goes in the final. Right now, I'm actually leaning more towards Juventus going in the finals, to be honest. You know, even if it's my team, I, I, Juventus has the edge, man. You have Cristiano Ronaldo, who just won it three times in a row. These Juventus players are really hungry to win the Champions League because they haven't won it in so long and they've been in, 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 in a few finals recently as well. 
Not that we're not hungry for it. We never want it, but we really want it. We definitely really want it. People say, no, have you ever won a Champions League? We always want to throw that in our faces. This could be our season to do it. It could happen, but, you know, we just got to be humble and knock off whoever comes out with first. On the other side of the bracket, guys, we have a Liverpool joint Porto. Remember, they smashed Porto last season on the road. I think it was 7-7-1 seven, seven, or 7 with Sadio Mane scoring a whole bunch of goals. And they drew Porto again. I did not want them to drop Porto. This is a gift for Liverpool. Sorry, Porto, man. You did well coming back versus Roma. You know, coming from behind and all, you have a talented team, really, really talented. Musa Marega, Brahimi, you know, Alex Tejas, Hernani, you know, legend in goal in Casillas, Pepe in defense. The team is, is really good. The team is good. Don't get me wrong, you know. But Liverpool has been on fire this season, you know. In the Premier League title race, guys, note that. In the Premier League title race, remember last season, Man City won it with 100 points. Liverpool had 70-something points. Now they are on 70-something points with still about eight games to go, and they join Porto. Porto in a title race in, you know, Liga Noche as well with Benfica, so they have been in very good form this season, but Liverpool with Sadio Mane firing on all cylinders, Roberto Firmino, his busy self, Mohamed Salah, you know, even if he's not getting on the score sheet, he's providing assists, you know, Alisson in goal, Virgil van Dijk, the beast in the back, you know, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Andrew Robertson, who I think will miss the first leg of that game. These guys all, you know, playing very, very well. Midfield of Wijnaldum, Henderson, you know, Naby Keita, Fabinho. The, the team is really clicking on the Jurgen Klopp. You know, Porto, man, I'm sorry, but I'll have to go for Liverpool with this one. The last one, guys. Remember, guys, remember, Liverpool were finalists last season and they have another opportunity to get in the final this season and even win it. I would love to see a Man City-Liverpool final, definitely. And the last one. Man United versus Barcelona. Oh boy, these two teams have history as well. The last time they were in a two-legged tie was in the 2007-2008 semifinals. You know, it was actually, let me see, who won that thing? This will be the first two-legged tie between Barcelona and Manchester United since 2007-8 UCL semifinals when United's pass goal scored the only goal in all in the Old Trafford second leg. So United went on to win that tie. Barcelona and Manchester United have played in just one other two-legged contest in UEFA competition, the English club overturning a 2-0 first leg loss in Spain. With a 3-0 victory at Old Trafford in 1983-84, European Cup Winners' Cup quarterfinals. So, history is, you know, on United's side. But the, the team under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been really doing well. But injuries, you know, a little bit of... I really don't know how to put this, but... The team is a bit hot and cold, you know. You see what they did versus PSG at Old Trafford, losing two goals to nil, but they went back, you know. They went back to the Parc de Prince and they actually won the game with a very youthful squad. It will be a tough battle. It will be a tough battle against Barcelona, currently top of, you know, La Liga. Man United struggling for a top four spot. They need this win. They need this win, but... I'm leaning more towards Barcelona here, not because, you know, they are our city rivals. Barcelona with Lionel Messi, Suarez, Coutinho, Ousmane Dembele, Sergio Busquets, you know, Sergi Roberto, Umtiti, Pique, Jody Alba, Ter Stegen in goal. The, the team is just too stacked up, man. The team is just too stacked up. You have guys like Arthur, you know, Nelson Semedo, Malcolm. The, the team is just way too stacked up, too talented. It's hard. It's, it's going to be a tough, tough battle. 
Guys like Paul Pogba, Matic, De Gea, they have to come up big. Rashford have to have a big game. You know, Martial as well if he's fit. Lingard if he's fit. In order for, you know, Man United to even tickle Barcelona. So, I'm going to go for Barcelona. You know, so it's going to be a Barcelona, Liverpool semi-final. And it'll be a Man City versus Juventus semi-final. Honestly, I said in the last video, you know, it's going to be a Barcelona-Juventus final. And it could go anyway. It could go anyway. But Barcelona are the front runners to win the competition this season. With Juventus in second. Man City third. Excuse me. Liverpool fourth. And the rest teams could fight for fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. But it's going to be a mouth-watering quarterfinal. It's going to be some enthralling ties. And I can't wait for it to happen, guys. I know it's going to be good. The round of 16, it was really freaking good. It was so damn good. We saw numerous comebacks. We saw blowouts. And I think the last eight is promised something special as well. Definitely promised something special. So the first quarterfinals, guys, it will be March 15th. That is so soon? No, that was the draw. What am I saying? It was a draw. It will be April in April. Because I'm like, March 5th? Isn't today March 15th? <laughs> like, what do I say? It will be on... In April. It will be on April. So, looking forward for that. I think... I don't have the dates right now. But it will be in April. So, guys. um, Let me know what you think about the draw. In the comment section down below, if you think your team got a kind draw, I did not watch the draw, so I don't know if it was rigged or not. Really, really don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, and until next time, peace out. Rich Squad!